You already know it's no secret that teenagers can be wildly moody. There's so much pressure on teenagers today that it's no wonder that they feel so negative and overwhelmed all the time. But what if you could flip that negative script in your head? I'm gonna tell you how. Hey, I'm Mallory, I'm a teen therapist, and I love making mental health videos like this for teens. We all have negative thoughts and for good reason. If you never consider the negative consequences, we wouldn't survive as a species. And you definitely wouldn't know how to appreciate the positives if you didn't know what the negatives were. But what if you struggle with negative thinking all the time? That's really exhausting and it can be hard to transform your negative thoughts into positive ones. You know that thinking negatively about yourself keeps you in a crappy mood, but how do you break the cycle? How can you even begin to think more positively about yourself? It is possible to stop hating on yourself. I've helped hundreds of teens with this, and I'm going to share with you one of my favorite strategies using an exercise called the belief ladder. So real quick, let's back up and talk about the power of belief. Your mind believes whatever you tell it, and based on what you tell it, it will steer you in the direction that it confirms is true. This is called the confirmation bias. Basically, whatever you think, your mind likes to confirm that it's true. So it looks for evidence of whatever you're thinking. Again, your mind wants to believe and trust you, so it's gonna look for proof that what you tell it is true. This is how we get stuck in negative thinking patterns. We all have automatic negative thoughts, or ants for short, where sometimes our initial thought is a negative one. Because again, that's how we've survived as a species. Now, if you stick with that initial negative thought and you keep going, 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 and confirming, confirming, confirming that that negative thought is true, you're gonna stay in that negative crappy mood. So if you find yourself thinking, I'm so stupid, your mind is going to look for proof that you're stupid and you're gonna further reinforce that belief. And because noticing and acknowledging and preparing for negative experiences have saved us as a species, we are more likely to err on the side of negative confirmation bias than positive ones. So let's jump into it and do a belief ladder together so you can see how this works. Step one is I want you to pull out a piece of paper and write down any negative thought that you have about yourself, whether you believe it's true or not. For this example, I'm going to choose the thought I'm so stupid. But you can really choose any negative thought that holds an emotional charge for you. Next, I want you to notice where in your body you feel that charge most. So starting with your head and going all the way down to your tippy toes. Just noticing where you feel that negativity. Now, this can be in different places for different people. My negative emotional charges tend to live right in like my heart center to throat area. So it's all right up in here. <laughs> For other people, they may hold it in their belly, other people in their hands. I've had where people have felt it in their legs, in their head. Really, it can be in any body part for you. You just want to notice where it lives. Once you've located where that negative emotional charge lives in your body associated with that negative thought, you want to go ahead and rate it on a scale of 0 to 10, where 0 is it feels totally neutral, it doesn't bother you at all, and 10 is the most intense extreme negativity it could possibly feel. And write that number down right next to that negative thought. Okay, now that you have your negative thought and your emotional charge number, underneath that, I want you to write down the positive thought that you would rather believe about yourself. Don't worry if you don't believe it yet, that's okay. Or maybe you already do believe it, but it's not as strong as you'd like it to be. Or that negative thought just keeps popping in. So since my negative thought is I'm so stupid, I could choose something like I'm so smart or I'm not so stupid. Really, you can use whatever language feels good for you. I'm gonna go with I'm so smart because I want to, <laughs> why not? <laughs> so again, I'm going to have you check in on another scale. This one's a little bit different. Instead of zero to 10, this time I want you to rate how true that positive thought feels on a scale of one to seven, where one is it is not true at all and seven is it's absolutely true. So once you have that rating, go ahead and write it down next to that positive thought. 
the thought you'd like to believe. Okay, now this is the really fun part. Okay, so what you're gonna do is you can either set a timer or you can set um, a number limit and you're gonna write down every reason that you can think of that that positive statement is true. So for me, if I'm going with I'm so smart, I'm going to list down every single reason that I am so smart. I would really recommend challenging yourself with coming up with at least 10 reasons. And if you find yourself getting stuck, go ahead and hang in there until you have those 10 because trust me, this is where the magic happens and you learn how to really dig deep for those positive reasons. This is you training your mind to look for the positive proof, not just the negative. Though, if you want a real hearty challenge, go for 50 or 100. That's where the magic happens. If you're following along with the video, go ahead and pause it now and come back after you have your list. I don't want you to skip ahead. Okay, do you have all your reasons listed? Awesome, I knew you could do it. Now go ahead and read through all your reasons together. And once you have, go back to that negative thought at the start. And when you read it this time, on a scale of zero to 10, how intense does that negative thought feel now? Write it down. After you've done that, read that positive statement. And this time, rate how true it feels using that one to seven scale, where one is it's not true at all, and seven is it's absolutely true. Pretty cool how you can shift your thoughts with just a few reasons. If your numbers didn't change or they stay the same, that's totally okay. That means that you just need a little more work with this or you might have to change up the way you frame your thoughts. You have lots of choices here and you can change up how you say that positive statement. And remember, this stuff takes time. Just like with any exercise, the first time that you do it, it might feel a little tough or rough, or it might not go exactly as planned. But every time you use this exercise, you will get stronger and smarter and it will become easier. So give it a go another time or try it with a different thought. This exercise is actually a really cool way of getting started with positive affirmations. And if you wanna know more, watch the video on your screen right now. And please make sure to share this video because you never know who it could help. Thanks for watching.